prayer and the prayer the person is fasting and praying god bring somebody intervene and you are sitting next to the person and the person is praying and the gift is sitting next to them in church but because you don't have time you don't want to some people say, I don't want to get involved. You know, I don't want to offend anybody. You know, I finish, I go home quietly. And you think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a righteous, holy statement. No, no, God is very upset with you. <laughs> yes. Do you, do you do that in your family? If you did that in your family, will your family work? If nobody wants to interact with anybody because nobody wants anybody to offend them will your family work yes it won't work yeah. that's why offense will come in the people that you are you you are interact with often yeah that's just that's just life yeah. it's part of the package so if you refuse to use your gift because you want a peaceful life, God will call you wicked. Yeah. Why? Because the gift is to be used to serve others. So you deprive somebody. Meanwhile, you also came and you came and enjoyed somebody's gift. Amen. Yes. Somebody used their gift and you enjoyed it. And went home. Oh, today it was wonderful. The presence of God was powerful. Oh, the prison worship. Church. Yeah. And the, all through your Christian life, that's all that you are doing. Wonderful. <laughs> Praising other people. Oh, this is wonderful. Never using your gift. God says you are wicked. Because the persons who gifts you are enjoying needs your gift. That's why it's wicked. Remember that. Manifold grace of God. It's a free gift that has been given to us. So the good works that he's called us to do, he's prepared us for it. Do you understand? By giving us gifts. So he's not asking us for something that he has not given us. He has given us gifts to be able to do what he has called us to do. Verse 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister. The word minister there means to serve. Remember that. Let him do it as of the ability which God has given. That God in all things may be glorified through Christ Jesus. To, be, to whom be praise and dominion forever. So, if anyone speaks, let him speak as the oracle of God. If any man serves, let him do it according to the ability that God has given him. Okay? Let me have the other translation. So, God has an expectation and he has, a, he has a level he's giving to everybody. He has a level he's giving to everybody. And he said, whatever you do, do it according to the ability that God has given you. So God has given everybody an ability. And God wants you to do it according to that ability. Now he says that so that in all things God may be what? glorified through Jesus. That means if you do something below your ability, God is not glorified. Amen? If you try to do something beyond your ability, God is also what? Not glorified. Yeah. So for God to be glorified, you have to do it according to the ability that God has given you. That is when God is glorified. If anybody who has... Uh, oh, sorry. Look at... Uh, 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 there is somebody who has parked this car, so please. Um, deal with that. 
the, the, there's a notice on the board. Yeah. Okay, let's 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 go. Yeah. So Yeah, those are if any man speak, let him speak at the oracles of God. Give me the other one. So God has an ability, an ability level that He has given to us. And He said we should function according to that. He said, Do you have a gift of speaking? Then speak as though God Himself were speaking through you. Do you hear that? Speak as though what? God is what? Speaking through you. And if God is speaking through you, it will come out in a godly way. Hmm? It will come out what? In a godly way. Do you have the gift of helping others? Do it with all the strength and energy that God supplies. That's the ability. The strength and energy that God supplies. Then everything you do will bring glory to God through Jesus. Yeah. So if God has given you an ability, don't go beyond that ability. Amen. Amen. In everything, there are levels in it. And God gives us different levels of ability. Let everybody operate at the level that God has given them. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That is what brings glory to God. There are levels in teaching, preaching, singing, different things. There are different levels. That's why you will see a, a mass choir of 100 people and only one person is standing in front singing. And the 99 are back in the one person. Yeah. That is God's design according to ability. And the people at the back, they are quite happy. In fact, they are dancing. They are clapping. They are, yeah. Very happy. Very excited. That's, they are in their place. They are happy. They are doing it according to their ability. The, the man in front is also doing it according to their ability. Why? Their voices came from God. It didn't come from them. Are you understanding? Yes. So God gives us things according to our ability. There are some people who are gifted to do things at a higher level. But because they, they don't want to invest time, they will do it at a lower level. And say, oh, that's how everybody else is doing it. Why should I bother myself to stretch myself? When you meet God, he will ask you, this is the level of ability I gave you. Did you operate at that level. Yeah. We don't demand the same things from our children. Do we? At different ages, we make different demands of our children, don't we? Yes. You, 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 you can't ask the, the two, three-year-old to go, to go and wash the dishes. You, you can't make that demand. It's, it's unreasonable. Yeah? But they are eating. In fact, they are making more mess. If anybody should wash the plates, it's them. Yes, they should be washing the plates because they are messy. But because of their age, they can make all the mess, but you can't demand that from them. It's just not right. Why? They, are not, they don't have that ability. But when you get to 10 and 11, 12, and you are making the mess, they will ask you to wash it. And it's the same person that was making mess at 3 and they didn't ask him to do anything. The same person has got into 11 and 12. Now they have to watch. Ability. Yeah. So as you are staying in the house of God and you are learning, God is demanding more of you. Yeah. So if you are going to work in excellence, we have to arrive and do things according to the ability. If you do below your ability, 
is an error. If you try to go beyond what your ability is, is also an error. Amen? Yes. Because we are given different abilities. Do it according to your ability. When you speak, speak it according to the ability that God has given. So that God will be what? Glorified. So whatever we do, the aim is to glorify God. Always remember that. That is the, that is the aim. Is to glorify God. So when you do something that doesn't glorify God, it doesn't matter how well you think you have done it. It doesn't mean anything to God. Why? It did not glorify God. So, if we want to walk in excellence, that is what we need to do. We need to be a people who will operate at the level that God has put us, function where God wants us to function, in the way he wants us to function. So quickly, just to remind you, God knew us before we were born. He set us apart and gave us a job to come and do. To be prophets to the nations. Yeah. To bring salvation. By preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah. That is what he has called us to do. He said he formed us in the womb. He knit us together. He worked on us. To prepare us to work. Hmm? God first worked on us. Yeah. He worked on us. And he prepared us to do what? Good works. So there is an investment that is going on in you. And you have to return some profits on the investment that God has made. It's a huge investment. You can't get anything bigger and more higher in quality and value than life. So whatever investment you've got anywhere that you want a profit on, cannot be compared with the investment that God has made in you. Hallelujah. And so, we want to be able to function in God's way that he has called us to. So, from today, whatever you decide uh, to do or areas you decided to function in, Develop yourself. Grow yourself. Amen? Action toward grow, develop in order to what? expand. In, in, in order to expand. In order to expand. In order to expand. So, once we have done that, we will begin to uh, function in the way that God has called us to function. God will help us to function in the way that he has ordained us to function. Okay? So, those who were not here, please, we still will give you the opportunity to, um, you know, have something to do. Those who haven't yet done anything or put their names down for anything, uh, the opportunity is still there for you to do something.